In today's video, we're gonna go over the essential beginner's guide to candlestick charts. If you're trading short term, you need to use candlestick charts, and obviously, if you're using them, you need to understand them. Lead trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and most importantly, ring that bell. Hit that alert button. I want you to be notified every time we drop one of these videos, especially the live videos. We go live every week, breaking down charts, breaking down trade ideas. I want you here live, so ring that bell. So as mentioned in the beginning, we are going to explain the basics of candlestick charts, what they're denoting, what they're showing, and how to read them. So I'm gonna start out with a, a, a basic chart here, and you can see we've got half a dozen candles. I'm gonna focus on this kind of right side of the chart. And what I wanna show you denote what these candles represent. So. As you can see, ARQL, the stock we're looking at, um, this range through here, it was kind of doing nothing for, for each, you know, for one, two, three, four, five, six days. And actually, let me start there. We're looking at a one year, one day chart. Each candle denotes one day, one trading day. So you can see for about six days, stock was pretty range bound, not really doing a whole lot. I can tell that because the candles are very small. That shows me the daily range. So a great example is this candle right before the big gap up, and I'm gonna explain what a gap up is and why it matters. Notice this candle, really, really small body on that candle. That tells you that it opened and closed at almost exactly the same price. That's what we call a doji candle. Um, and you, that also tells me that, that from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, the stock basically did nothing. It in essence opened at one price, closed very near to that price. Next, I wanna focus on the next day. Notice how this candle closes at roughly 625. The next day, we're up in the eights and the nines, and we have a big red candle body. What does that mean? So what we're seeing here is this is a gap up. This is something we wanna focus on for potential trade opportunities. ARQL had news on that day, so it gapped up. We know it gapped up because of the, the opening price of the candle on a red candle denotes where the stock opened. So the stock opened at nine and then closed at 8.25. The candle is red because the stock closed lower than it opened. So that's the beauty of candlestick charts. Within half a second, I can tell that the stock closed lower than it opened and I can see the daily range. Now, it may be a little hard to see on YouTube, but there's also the wicks of the candle. What those wicks denote versus the body, these are the small lines on the candle. That shows you the high and low of that trading day during the trading day. So ARQL traded a little higher, up into about 925. Again, I know that's a little hard to see, but you'll see that small line. Then it traded as low as eight during the day. So it, I know with you know one second of looking at this candle, the stock gapped up, ran, pulled back, dropped hard, and then bounced into the close. See how much information is there just by one candle? I know that because that candle tells me that. Now, the other thing I wanna focus on, and I'm gonna go to the next candle and break it down more, but the volume candles. Notice that volume candle is just huge. 35 million shares traded that day. So that tells me the volume candles, you don't have wicks on volume. Those are strictly a, uh, you know, just a, just a chart annotation, a line chart in essence, a bar chart in essence. So remember, volume candles are just a bar chart showing you the total volume. Price candles are candlesticks. So I can see I have huge volume. My volume candle is red because the stock closed lower than it opened. Amazing amount of information just right there very quickly. Now let's wrap up on the next day. We can see that the stock opened at 8.25, went as low as 8.10, went as high as $10 a share, and closed at 9.60 a share. 
So now I know that the stock closed higher than it opened. I know the bottom range and the upper range, all just by knowing the color of the candle, the wicks, the body, and the volume. It's an amazing amount of information, and all of this applies to intraday charts as well. You're just reducing the time frame. So this, each candle is a day in this instant, and a one minute chart, each candle is one minute. All of the same ideas apply, all of the same principles apply. So know your candlesticks. Um, there's a lot of candlesticks patterns out there that we talk about in a lot of other videos, but you need to know the basics. So. Are you actively trading? Let me know in a comment below. And if you're actively day trading, do you use candlesticks? And do you think they're helpful? Or do you use old school line or area charts? Let me know your favorite chart below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.